All right, today we're going to be taking apart an Acer E15. It's an Aspire E15 ES1-511-C7YP model. What we have to do is remove all of the screws out of the bottom of the unit. And we're going to do this so that we can replace this memory module. As you do disassemble this system, keep in mind that all of the screws in this bottom cover are identical, so there's no need to keep track of them. But the screws inside of the system in the motherboard, hard drive, wireless card, and fan are different, so keep them separate for each one. Once we do get all of these screws out, then we're going to take our spudger, little plastic spudger, and we're going to separate the palm rest from the bottom casing or the bottom cover of the laptop just by inserting it in the crack and just twisting to slightly to separate the palm rest. There are little clips that are there. As you see, I did this around the whole length of the palm rest. Now there are three cables underneath of this palm rest that will need to be disconnected. However, I will demonstrate that once I get them disconnected, just how to do so, since there's no way I can get this camera down here. All right. You've got your keyboard, your touchpad, and your power button cables. You take the power button cable out by inserting your spudger underneath the edge of this zip clip and lifting it upwards. These two are more standard style. They slide out in an upwards direction here. Now we're going to remove the screw from the hard disk drive and remove that from the unit. The memory module in this particular system happened to be on the underside of the motherboard. So we have to remove the entire board from the system in order to get it to get access to it. As you can see, I've removed the battery connector, and I'm now removing the wireless card. And we're going to get the screw out of the heatsink fan. and remove the video connector for the LCD panel. All right, we've got one screw in the motherboard here. And once that does come out, then we'll just need to get the rest of the cables that are holding it up out. Namely, we have the power cable here, which will pull out of the plug underneath the motherboard and then we have the speaker cable here which we'll go ahead and disconnect here like so and there's our memory module this particular model just has one memory slot so we will have to remove the four gigabyte stick it ships with and replace it with an eight gigabyte stick As you see, all you have to do is pull the two connectors on each side, the two rest restraints on each side, and the memory stick will pop right out.
once you do get the new stick, line up this slot in the memory module and insert it and push down the same way that you pulled the other memory module out. Now we just need to replace this board and make all the connections and we should be all set to go. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you have enjoyed this presentation.